Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. I'm gonna grab bag number 11 and see what we have for tea today. I have no nuts and more. <laughs> I was like, what does that say? Caffeine free herbal infusion. It will help your cravings for sweets. I'm so tempted to look at the chocolate, but I'm not going to because hubby is working today, even though it's the weekend, but he's off early so we can enjoy the chocolates together and I will save this for him. I was just thinking last night that I should have put the tea advent calendar somewhere else, maybe hung it up on a string, although I don't know where I would hang it in the condo because I'm not really liking the opening the bag twice just as a, um, logistics kind of thing. I think it would be much more interesting and efficient if I had had the tea somewhere else. That's something I'm going to think about for future vlogmas. I do really love all of the components that we have this year. I'm just not loving the execution. For my tea today, I'm going to steep the Tea Pigs Darjeeling Earl Grey. I really felt like drinking this today. I am going to take some time this morning to work on Hubby's stocking because I haven't done anything to it since I shared that there are three things in here, but it's all part of a set. I bought a bunch of other stuff that's probably not going to fit. I will do my best and see what I can shove in here. There's an art to stuffing a stocking. There's actually not much room. What I've been doing is I've been taking a lot of stuff out of the packaging and setting the packaging aside in case he wants to look at it later. And I think this time, because I um, bought too many big things, I think I might cheat and put one item in the stocking out of the set. For example, the set of three, I'm only gonna put one thing in here and then I will just give him the rest after. <laughs> that seems like the best way because um, yeah, this stuff is too big. What I like to do is I like to put the things that I think he'll like the best in the bottom. So it's kind of like a build into the stocking. So the first gifts that he opens are kind of like, oh, this is nice, but it's nothing I would actually ask for. And then towards the bottom, it's stuff that's, I think would be more appealing to him. Although stockings are tough. It's really hard to find things that'll fit in the stocking that people will actually like. And I am going to open up some packaging. Yeah, none of this is going to fit. I got almost everything to fit. <laughs> it's really stuffed now, but I think there's still room for some other little bits and pieces because there are still a few things that I'm wanting to look for. There are three items hanging in this, like, backpack in the back here and the set of three things that was in the stocking before that I was mentioning actually came in this backpack which is quite random if you see what those things are but um, I figured this would be a great vessel to hold the extra bits. There are three things in here, two pieces of that set of three, and also one item that would have fit if I had taken it out of the um, packaging, but the packaging is just so cute and it's the type that you have to like rip open. So it's not just a box that I can open and then present to him after so he can look at it. I decided to wrap that separately as well. Overall, I was able to fit more in the stocking than I anticipated. So that is awesome because I didn't want to have everything outside of the stocking. I really do try to keep things in the stocking. But anyway, that is one thing that was on my mind that is now out of my mind. Day 15 Arrow Garden update. It's time to add plant food. Sometimes when I can't find L-U-L-U, -L -U, it turns out she is under my desk. That is where Truffle used to lie all the time, and she's taken to lying under there every once in a while. I think it's because 
My comfy is under there, that huge hoodie that I wear. I am very glad I came out at this time. It is the perfect weather for a walk. Not too hot, not at all cold, not raining, not windy. So I think I have 3,000 more steps that I need to get. And then I'm gonna head home. There's one left. It's a sign. I normally do not multitask when I eat, but I'm making an exception today. My friend sent me a link to an esports competition, and I'm so intrigued because this is an Excel esport competition. <laughs> I read the article and I thought, you know what, I'll just watch the videos later. But when I clicked on it just to get a peek, I noticed that the final is actually today and it's live at noon when I eat my first meal. So I'm like, oh, I really want to see this. I really want to see like the Excel problem they present, the different ways of tackling it, because there are so many different ways to do the same thing in Excel. I love Excel and I'm like okay at it. Like I'm pretty good at it, but um, I know there are tons of things in Excel that I don't know how to do because I still Google stuff from time to time if like there's something very specific that I want that I don't know how to do. So I'm very interested in seeing this competition and just like the genius. There are eight contestants. Haven't seen anything yet. They're still doing intros and like introducing the prizes and all of that good stuff. I'm just like very, very intrigued. Excel is very near and dear to my heart. I heard enough before I started recording this clip to know that the first Excel problem, they're giving them 40 minutes and all of the eight people are going to be on the screen. And then I think there are two more problems after that that are 30 minutes each. They just presented the Excel problem and it looks really hard and complicated. Ah, so the Excel problem, they get a sheet that has um, all of this stuff on it. So this is a ride sharing problem. I'm all done eating and this is really fascinating. <laughs> I don't even understand the problem. They explained it really quickly. I don't think I was paying that much attention, but it would probably take me like 10 minutes just to understand the problem before going in and like populating the answers. So uh, this was really fascinating. I'm liking this. Even though we already bought our December chips, I have been reading tons of opinions online that no-name brand chips are the best. Not just in terms of house brands, but in terms of every brand. And I really, really love the compliments ones. I do feel like these are way up there. So I thought, you know what? I am going to see what I think about no-name brand chips. The chips do look very different. There appears to be more green seasoning on the compliments ones, and the seasoning is a lot lighter in terms of like um, green color on the no-name ones. Oh, this isn't what I thought it would be, this competition. They're not really building a spreadsheet themselves they're using the information and using kind of like their um skills to actually answer questions in the existing spreadsheet that's already been built i thought it was something like building a spreadsheet to answer a problem but it's actually using what's there to answer the problem so that's like very different i guess that's why they only have 40 minutes because if you were to build a complex spreadsheet that could take that could take hours, if not days. These are quite good, the no-name ones. Now the compliments. They taste completely different. Both are sour cream and onion flavor. Mm. This one tastes more creamy, like sour creamy. This one tastes more like onion, so depending on which you prefer. I personally prefer the compliments ones because I like the sour cream flavor versus the um, like powdered onion flavor. But these are very good as well. I would buy these. If they go on sale for a dollar, for example, I would buy them. They were two bags for three dollars today. So the compliments ones are still cheaper because they're only a dollar twenty-five. Is my nerdiness showing? <laughs> It's okay, I embrace it. I'm hoping the final will be Michael from Canada and Andrew from Australia. 
That round was exciting, and it's going to be Michael and Andrew in the final round. The final is starting! Yay! We have a winner! That was fun. <laughs> the live event is over. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed watching it. After two and a half hours of watching these contestants, their different approaches, I'm feeling a little bit more curiosity as to how I would have approached the problem. So um, I may download some of the ones from the earlier rounds, not the final, because the final, I think, would be like the most complicated but they have stages throughout the year so january would be stage one and they have some samples online of like the earlier stage cases i think they have stage two three and four like a couple of the cases from 2020 and also stage four from this year so i think i might download those just to test out when i have a moment and maybe that moment will never come because i may lose interest after i <laughs> kind of like settle down and get back into my daily routine. But that was so much fun. And I'm in Excel every day. Like I just do simple stuff in Excel, but my finances spreadsheet, um, stuff that I do for work, like super simple, but I love Excel. And it would be neat to download these um, cases just to even like try to learn something or to improve my skill set. is gonna open the chocolate he's just in the middle of dinner we're having a repeat of yesterday tuna melts and uh, leftover soup I didn't have any soup though because I'm still pretty full pink and blue pink strawberry strawberry, strawberry and salted caramel mm. Ooh, these two are Sugar new cream. strawberries and cream Yummy. It is time once again to taste the tea. Javi just commented that it smells very cinnamony. This is the Nuts and More, and as it was steeping, Javi commented on the color, which you can see is um, very pink. And that reminded me of the David's Tea Forever Nuts, which was um, this color as well because it had beetroot in it. So I looked at the ingredients and this does indeed have beetroot. The ingredients are apple cubes, red beetroot, cinnamon, almonds, and natural flavoring. So when I think back to the Forever Nuts from David's Tea, I did enjoy that tea, I think, if I remember correctly. So let's give this one a try. Cheers! Ding! <laughs> Cheers to you! Ding! Oh, it's very apple-y. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's much more apple-y than the David's tea one. I don't, one. yeah, I like this one. I don't remember what the David's tea one tasted like. I don't think it tasted like this. It looked like this, but um, I'm pretty sure it tasted different. I like this though. This is good. Hmm. Hubby likes it too. It's yummy. Got a very natural sweetness. And I feel like this would be a really good um, iced tea. Yeah, it does say, since hibiscus and rosehip have not been added, the sweet flavor of the apples comes out in full force. That's interesting. I never really made the connection that apple teas have hibiscus and rosehip to balance it off, maybe with some acidity. Hmm. All right. It's time! Oh, another sour. 
Sour Grapefruit Blood Orange. Cute. Mmm, these are good. Not super sour. I don't really taste grapefruit all that no. much. It's no? very citrusy. Mm -hmm. More orange. Almost tastes like clementine. Maybe that's the blood orange. Hmm. Oh, they're different. That's why. Oh, I thought so. I was like, oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> mm. I just got one that was grapefruit. Yeah. So um, I had three blood orange ones so far, one grapefruit, and I have one segment left. So let's see what this is. Orange. Strawberry. Mm. Hubby ate the strawberry one already. He liked it. I am going to have the salted caramel first, and then the strawberry matches. I put this on for the leaf game tonight. Mmm. <laughs> that is really good. This one's better than the dark chocolate one, I think. I feel like you can taste the salt more and also the caramel more in this one. Could this herbal infusion help my cravings for sweets? I'm not sure. Maybe that's something to try in the new year. I think I would buy this one and it'd be an interesting experiment to see if I could just have some fruit and this tea rather than any chocolate or candy or any other kind of like processed sweet for dessert. That is something to think about for January. I kind of like that right now. Last chocolate. Strawberries and cream. This is one of my favorites. I really do love the fruity ones. Got a really nice pink hue with speckles of probably like dehydrated strawberry. Pretty. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Let's see what we have for tea. I still have a little bit of my second steep of the nuts and more. I didn't want to finish it all last night in case I have to wake up in the middle of the night with a full bladder. So I had a little bit remaining this morning and I actually really liked that. So maybe. I should do that more, do a second steep, but not drink at all the night of. Okay, let's open this up. We are on day 12 already. If I was doing regular Vlogmas, we'd be halfway through. Royal London. Oh. Very popular afternoon tea blend. I'm going to drink it right now. It's Ceylon Orange Pico, Orange Blossom Ginger and Almonds. This actually sounds really good. I have not had this before. This blend doesn't sound familiar at all. It is time to taste today's tea. It smells really good. It smells like almond and not like almond extract. It actually does smell like almonds. Okay, here we go. It 
it's good, but it doesn't taste like how it smells. When I taste it, I taste a lot more of the orange and less of the almond. There's a slight, slight, slight like orange medicine quality to it that's not my favorite, but not like super bothersome either. Right now, I'm just okay about this, but I do like that they included this in the um, advent calendar because I feel like it's very festive. It's very like Christmassy. And sometimes I think Christmassy goes the way of like cloves and cinnamon a bit too much. So it's neat that they have this one, which has the orange, which is very Christmassy, ginger and almonds, but no cinnamon or cloves. So it's a really nice festive tea that's different from a lot of the festive teas that I've had. So I really, really do like that um, I got to try it. I don't think I would have ever purchased this on my own. I'm going to try to get a barbecue chicken again. The last time I went too early, so they weren't ready. This time I'm gonna try to go a little bit later. I also really want to make tater tots. I don't know <laughs> where this came from, but this came into my mind probably like two weeks ago, I wanna say. The dinner plan will be barbecue chicken, tater tots, and coleslaw. That's like feeling really good right about now. I have a holiday call with one of my friends today, which is why I am um, trying to think of like stuff that's easy to make for dinner. So we're probably going to be on the call until around four o'clock. That'll give me around half an hour to do the tater tots and the coleslaw. The chicken I'll just have to cut up. Hubby will be home by then. And so I think that will kind of be like perfect timing and the perfect easy to put together meal that's also really satisfying. It's around 10.30 now and I am on my way to the grocery store. I should be there at 11, which is, I hope, the perfect window. So let's see if uh, tonight's meal will go as planned. Success, yay! The Ritter Sport is on sale. I'm gonna see if they have the marzipan one. You saw that I had barbecue chicken success at the grocery store. You saw that I went to the Ritter Sport aisle. One of you recommended the marzipan for that very nice um, almond extract flavor that I enjoy. They didn't have marzipan, so I ended up getting the um, coconut one. This one is the cookie one and also the cornflake one. I got some guacamole. We still have some baby carrots and um, I'm thinking maybe I'll have some baby carrots with guacamole. Got some cabbage for the coleslaw tonight. I also got my tater tots. I'm so excited to eat these. And finally, I restocked on my favorite pickles. Arrow Garden, day 16. This meal looks so satisfying. I've just got some chicken breast here, a whole lot of tater tots, and a big bowl of coleslaw. The tater tots are really, really good. They're so crispy. I used the Instant Pot with the crisp lid. I was a little bit worried because they're not that dark, but they're actually perfect. So 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Javi's going to open the chocolate. Candy cane. Candy cane? And caramel. Ooh. Candy cane caramel. Day number 12. Here. Here we go. Oh, are these the rainbow bears? Yeah. Mini rainbow bears. So many of them, because they're so tiny. Oh, I didn't turn the light on yet. So cute. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> Yummy, very fruity. What light shall we have today? Green? Pink? Pink. 
kind of liking this orangey sunshine color. Hubby said he liked the tea today. So I was surprised because I thought he wouldn't like it because of the orange, but he said he really liked it. Let's have our chocolates. You're gonna have your chocolates later? Mmm. Mmm. Caramel. It's good. It's very caramelly. I like this. Last one, candy cane. I have had this one on camera before, but I think I'm going to have it again. I want to see if it's as good as I remember and whether I like it more than the other mint ones. Mmm, <laughs> smells so minty. Mmm. It's so good. I don't know if I like it more than the um, milk mint chocolate and also the, um, is it the peppermint cookie one? Yeah, I don't know if I like it more or just as much. Maybe a little bit more? That is it for Vlogmas Day 12. Thank you all so much for watching and happy mid-December. I will see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 13. Good night.